Hello and welcome to High Ground Gaming. This is Eric. My co-host Mr. Brody is here. We're going to be doing game number 67 of the 1978 Red Sox replay using Stratomatic Baseball. Uh, it's been a couple of days since we've done done videos and um, been a little bit busy because uh, we've got a, in the real world, we have uh, gotten another family, um, homeschool family, which I'm going to be working with uh, two of their daughters. Um, you know, starting from elementary math all the way up until pre-calc, so a long-term deal there. Um, so, yeah, so that's good good news for, for us in Higher Ground Tutoring and Higher Ground Gaming. Uh, we've kind of put a little bit on the back burner, but we're uh, going to do another video today and uh, hopefully get back on track. And uh, we've done a... We're going to continue with the uh, 1905 series and the Inside Pitch 50th Anniversary Series. We had a little bit of a uh, glitch with the um, our Digital Diamond Series that we're doing on the 2017 when we uploaded our stat pack. Um, I may have uploaded it twice or something and it caused some kind of a glitch um, where it's not recognizing any of the, uh, the position players and stuff. So i got to go back and see if I can fix that. So that's temporarily on hold. But the other three series, set this one, this, I mean, this one, the 1905 series and the um, uh, 1967 Impossible Dream seasons are still going to be going. And we're probably going to, uh, you know, add some, play some football, for, in, in, uh, eventually some cards and dice football using solitaire football. But uh, so we're going to be doing some uh, in, inside the crease hockey and some uh, inside blitz football, um, as well as some inside the paint basketball and if you probably you know some other other various sports things but um, but these are going to be our still a three uh, main baseball series going eventually digital diamond we'll get that hopefully we can fix that and get that going too and we may add another project here, and here but we're going to just going to continue with those three series just to keep it uh, as definite just to keep it um, manageable so, all right, so without further ado, let's get this game started. It's game number 67, um, second game with the New York Yankees. The Red Sox lost the first one by a score of 10-3. to um, The actual game was a 10-3 win by the, 10-4 win by the Red Sox, so kind of flip-flopped. And this game today that we're playing now um, was a 10-4 victory by the Yankees, so maybe we can uh, do the opposite uh, for this game too and get a, like a 10-something. Red Sox victory in this one, but we'll see. Uh, Don Gullett is on the mound for the New York Yankees, uh, former Cincinnati Red Star. And the um, Red Sox are going to be sending Mike Torres once again going for his 10th victory. Hopefully, we can get it today. So, without further ado, let's get this game underway. Welcome to the stadium for today's ball game. <laughs> Mike Torres on the mound for the Red Sox. He's got a record of 10. Oh, he did get his 10th victory. My bad. Did not realize he had gotten his 10th victory. Anyway, um, got a 10-0 record. Eckersley that's still looking for his 10th victory. All right, so he's going for his 11th victory against no defeat. So hopefully he'll be able to do that today. So 10-0 with a record of ERA of 2.76, 104 innings pitched, 90 hits allowed. 37 walks and 48 strikeouts and four home runs allowed. So pretty much on pace with his numbers. About a little over a 
run and a fifth, 1.2 runs below his uh, ERA for the season. So definitely a much better record than he had on the season. He's already 10-0 and with his 16-13 and 13 on the actual season. So he's probably going to outdo that, hopefully. And we'll see by how much. So, all right, so the New York Yankees lineup is as follows. Roy White is the left fielder batting first. Willie Rand up to second baseman, bat second. Behind the plate, Thurman Munson batting third. Reggie Jackson, the right fielder, who hit a grand slam in the last game to bust the game open. Uh, we'll bat cleanup. Batting fifth would be the first baseman, Chris Chambliss. Greg Nettles is the third baseman, batting sixth. Gary Thomason, former Oakland A player. Uh, center fielder batting seventh. Jim Spencer, the DH, batting eighth. And Fred Chicken Stanley is the shortstop batting ninth. Not sure if Stanley played in the last game. I think he might not have. But anyway, um, so that's your lineup. Yeah, I don't think he did actually. I think it was Willie Randolph that played. Uh, that was. Anyway, I think it was another uh, shortstop that played in the last game. Oh, it was Bucky Dent. That's right. Bucky Dent played. Bucky Bleepin' Dent play. Now we have Fred Chicken Stanley. So that's your lineup for the visiting New York Yankees. So let's get this game underway. So Mike Torres looks in for the sign from Fisk. Here's the wind up in the pitch. The Red Sox defense is probably their best defense out there uh, as far as regulars go. Of course, mine's for Chopson, which is always a bad <laughs> choice at third. So here we go. It's going to be off of White's one column. And that's going to be a leadoff double between Lynn and Evans all the way to the wall. And White is on scoring position with a leadoff double. So Willie Randolph up now hitting 253 with 17 runs batted in. It's going to be off the four column Torres. And that is going to be a Range play, oh no, on Butch Hobbs. I should never mention his name. The problem is, the range isn't the problem, it's the actual error. Let's see what happens here. And he will commit an error, which is a pretty good percentage chance that he's going to do that. Is it going to roll up his arm? Can't find the handle. So that'll put runners at the corners with nobody out. But Thurman Munson. Field playing back, waiting to trade two outs for one run. So Munson, definitely a double play candidate here. Hitting, hitting 236 on the season with a homer and 20 runs bat in, so after a slow start, 297 hitter on the actual season. And let's see if Torres gets a jump here. He's unable to get a jump off Torres. Oh, it looks like he is. He's going to try it. So, 1 to 14. Do we try it? Maybe a bad decision, but we're going to try it. And he's going to be safe. And so White holds at second. I mean, he holds at third. So runners in second and third now, so double play is now out of order. So we got a base empty there, so we're going to be careful pitching the Munson. He has been struggling, so we are going to pitch to him. So it's going to be the six column Torres. And that's going to be a ground ball to Remy. Two range. And he'll throw over to Scott at first for out number one as the run comes home. Randolph moves to third. So one nothing Yankees here here in the top of the first. So next up will be Reggie Jackson. Jackson comes in the game hitting 252 with 11 homers and 28 runs batted in. Uh, run on third with one out. He's going to be off his three column. And he'll get hit by a pitch. So perhaps a little payback from yesterday's game when he hit the grand slam. So that'll put runners at the corners. For Willie Randolph, Red Sox playing back in double play depth. And Chambliss comes into the game hitting 309 with nine homers and 37 runs batted in. And 
And he's going to get a good pitch to hit here. And he's going to smack a double down the right field line. It's going to go into the corner. Randolph will come home. See if they send Jackson. No, they're going to hold him at third. So another run in for the Yankees. And it's the Yankees now lead 2-0. Chambliss' is RBI double. Jackson on third. So runners on second and third with one out. As the Mr. Brody, here's the ambulance outside. He's not too happy with that. Yeah, it's okay, Mr. Brody. <laughs> yeah, all right. There they go. They're actually going out of town, so let's we'll see what's up with that. So, all right. Oh, here comes the police car, of course, behind that. Lots of action today in the thriving metropolis of Gardner. So, all right, so Greg Nettles up now. Comes into the game hitting 298 with nine homers and 39 runs batted in. It's going to be off the Torres, a six call as Mr. Brody comes back in. Checking stuff out over there. All right. And that'll be a walk. So that will load the bases. So the yeah, Red Sox are in early trouble here. Yankees trying to bust it wide open. The corners are going to play in now for Thompson. Thompson comes in in 207 with six homers and 22 runs batted in. And like in the last game, which was the story was walk, 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 like I just commented, and it was, uh, that will force in a run. So, an arb, uh, so a bases loaded walk for Thomason, an RBI. Puts the Yankees up 3 0 now for Jim Spencer. Jim Spencer hitting 209 with seven homers and 18 runs batted in. And he'll get a pitch to hit here. Oh, thank goodness there. Just missed that double. So, wild to Evans. He'll make the catch. Chambliss will tag and score easily. And Nettles will hold at second. So, run number four comes in. So, 10 4 now. I mean, uh, four nothing as the number nine hitter, Fred Stanley, comes up, up to the plate. Stanley, a weak hitter, only hitting 100 on the actual season with a homer and three runs batted in, 30 at bats. 219 hitter on the actual season. Runners get their lead. It's going to be off of Stanley's one column. And that'll be a fly ball to left. As Mr. Brody groans his disapproval here. But the Yankees score forward. Headed to the bottom of the first. It's the Yankees four and the Red Sox coming up. So Gullet with it. Spotted a four and lead right off the bat. So the Red Sox will have to hold the Yankees scoreless if it's going to be close to that 10 4 score that we like. <laughs> we'll see. So Don Gullet comes into the game with a 1 and 1 record. 8.86 ERA, 21 innings pitched, 24 hits allowed, 7 walks and 14 strikeouts, and is allowed one home run. So the Rooster Rick Burleson will lead it off. He'll be followed by Jerry Remy, the second baseman, Jim Reich, the DH, bats third, left fielder Kai Stremski bats cleanup, behind the plate Carl Fisk bats fifth, Freddie Lynn, the center fielder, bats sixth, George Scott, your first baseman, bats seventh. Dwight Evans, the right fielder, bats eighth, and Butch Hobson, third baseman, bats ninth. So I think with the error by Hobson, I don't think all those runs are going to be earned. I think there may, may, maybe only three of those runs were earned, possibly. We'll find out after the game. So Burleson comes in with a 291 average and a homer and 27 runs batted in. Gallup looks in for the sign from Munson. Here's the windup in the pitch. The Yankee defense is pretty much the same as it was yesterday, except for Stanley, who's slightly less range than, um, than Dent. So it's going to be off the one column of Burleson. And that will be a ground out to his counterpart, Stanley, for out number one. As Chambliss scoops it out. Actually, throw pulls Chambliss off the bag, and Chambliss swipes him with a glove. So he saved an error for Stanley there with that swipe. So Jerry Remy up now. He's hitting 279. He's cooled off a bit lately with a homer and 21 runs batted in. 
Legendary. Maybe not historically good against lefties. Let's see what he does here. And he finds that single there, so he gets a single off a of gullet. So one out single. For the Red Sox brings up Jim Rice now, hitting 345 with 25 homers and 65 runs batted in. And it's going to be off of his one column, so he's going to get a good pitch to here. Let's see what he does with it. And he'll lace a single to left. And we're going to send Remy. Normally, we don't, I don't do this, but he's already in scoring position. But he is our fastest runner, and it's 85% chance. So we're going to try to get that runner to third with less than two outs. And throw his throw will be cut off. And Remy moves to third. So runners at the corners for the captain, Kali Yastrzemski. He's hitting 281 with seven homers and 33 runs batted in. Going to be off of Strzemski's one column, which will be a strikeout swing. So two down now. So to bring up Carlton Pudge Fisk, hitting 321 with nine homers and 39 runs bat in. He's been hot as of the last month or so. Hopefully he can get a hit here. Uh, let's see what happens. That's going to be a ground ball range check on Randolph, who's at one range, so most likely he will make the play on this. Gets in front of it. And he'll throw over Chambliss for out number three. So the Red Sox threaten but do not score. And after one full, it's New York four and Boston nothing. Torres looking for a clean inning. He'll face, as the Yankees batted around in the first, Roy White will lead it off, lead off hitter. He doubled his first time up, came around the score. Got four column Torres, and now it's going to be a single, so White is two for two. So to bring Willie Randolph, he reached on an error and scored. Error by Hobson, so I believe that's going to make. That still makes only only one of the runs on there. Wow, Randolph's run there. Possibly two. We'll see. So, all right, so it's going to be off the two column of Randolph. And it'll be a ground ball back to Torres as the corners are playing in. Over to second one, back to first. Not in time. But they do get the lead runner, so White is retired. And White is on on the field. I mean, Randolph is on on the field as choice. Let's look at some scores from around the league, around the American League. Baltimore Walkley is scoreless. Same with Detroit and Toronto. The White Sox are edging the Mariners two to one. Cleveland with the lead over Kansas City four to one. Uh, California and Minnesota scoreless, and as well as Oakland and Texas are also scoreless. So those are your scores from around the American League. So that'll bring up Thurman Munts, and he's 0 for one with an RBI. Ground it out. Randolph's going to be off with the pitch, and we're going to—we're not going to bother to throw it. It's a 95% chance, so we're going to hold on to the ball. And Randolph steals a bag. That made him in his second stolen base. I think he was the one who stole the base in the first inning. Could be wrong, but possibly. All right, so. Munson now has a runner in scoring position here. Yankees looking to tack on some more runs. And Randolph's going to take a lead, but he's unable to get a good lead. There is the pitch to Munson. And it'll be a strikeout swing for out number two. Going to bring up Reggie Jackson, who's hit by a pitch the first inning. He's going to get a good pitch to hit here. And he is not going to miss this one as it goes. Evans just watches it go by, by, by. <laughs> so, two run homer for Jackson puts the Yankees up 6 to 2 as Jackson continues to be a thorn in the Red Sox back. So, that'll bring up Chris Chambliss with two down, a 6 0 Yankees lead now. He'll get a good pitch to aid here. 
And he's going to go back to back, almost the same spot that Jackson hit it. And it's now a 7 0 lead. So once again, the Yankees all over the Red Sox. This time early. And it's a 7 0 lead. Action in the Red Sox pen. As Torres is proving ineffective as he's serving the Yankees' batting practice so far. But Torres is probably not going to be long for this game. Already up to 58 pitches. And that's going to be a fly ball to center. Lynn is under this one and makes the catch. So three runs, three hits, and no errors. And after one and a half, it's the Yankees seven and the Red Sox nothing. So Fred Lynn will lead it off for the Red Sox here in the bottom of the second. Definitely have their work cut out for them. Fred Lynn comes in hitting an even 500 with 15 homers and 49 runs by him. Second on the team in both homers and RBIs. He's going to be off his three call. He's not too great. Good against the lefties. And he'll go round out to Randolph at second for out number one. Boom with George Scott up now, hitting 259 with four homers and 14 runs batted in. He is the first baseman today. And he'll draw a one out walk. So one and one out for Dwight Evans, hitting 274 with. 12 homers and 36 runs batted in. And this is going to be a ground ball to Stanley. This could be two over to Randolph one, back to first. Double play. That'll end the inning. The Red Sox go down in the second, and after two full, 7 0 Yankees. Thompson had a bases loaded walk in the first. Then you'll have a single up the middle. So lead our partners on for the Yankees here in the third. Brings up Jim Spencer, hit a sacrifice fly in the first. As Thomas is unable to get a lead off Torres. It's going to be a ground ball to Remy. Range check on Remy. Two range. He's able to get in front of it. Oh, but Remy's going to commit an error. It's the second error of the day for the Red Sox. So I'll put runners on first and second with a one with nobody out. The Yankees are once again threatening the score. Fred Stanley up now. He is flew out his first time up. And he finds the single there. So that will load the bases, and that's Zimmer seen enough as he's going to come and get rid of Torres here. Boy, it gets too bad. Although the bases are loaded with nobody out, so you can't get much worse than that in this inning. Alright, so let's see who the Red Sox are going to bring in here. Looks like Jim Wright pitched. A little bit here, so we're gonna bring in Jim Wright. He's tired though. We won't. Uh, Dick Drago pitched for him, so we're gonna bring in Dick Drago. Looking for some long relief out of Drago. So into the pen early here, already in the third inning. Two plus innings Torres pitched, seven runs allowed already, and responsible for three base runners, so it could get even uglier for Torres. And the Red Sox. Boy, I think we're going to play the infield in. Can't afford to get behind by anyone anymore. Bring the infield in. Alright, so Roy White up now. He's two for two. He doubled in the first and singled in the second. He's going to get a ground ball back to the pitcher. Up with it. Fires and nails Thomas in at the plate and gets a home to first double play. So a score that a 1 2 3 double play. No, 1 2. No, actually, it was a Remy coming, so it's probably 1 2 4 double play. Scott was probably charging on that one, too. 1 2 4. So the Red Sox turn two. So good, good job by them to get our 
it's not over yet as Willie Randolph's up now. He reached on an error by Hobson and was out on a fielder's choice. So runners on second and third with two out. Red Sox hoping to keep this a scoreless inning. And they will as Drake. Ground ball back to Drago over to Scott. And the Red Sox get do a Houdini act and get out of a bases loaded no out situation. So Drago comes in and does the job. Hopefully that will spark the Red Sox offense here as Butch Hobson will lead it off. He's hitting an even 300 with 80 with eight home runs and 31 runs bat in. So he's off to a good start average wise and power wise. Alright, it's gonna be off two column of Hobson. And he will strike out looking as he is frozen on that pitch. So to bring up top of the order, Burleson grounded out his first time up. And he'll line out to Stanley for out number two. So to bring up Jerry Remy, singled his first time up. And he'll get a good one to hit here. That's definitely the column to be on. Gullet's four column. And he will lace a single past Sam Chambliss into the right field. So the Red Sox with a two out base runner. Brings up Jim Rice, who singled his first time up. Average up to 348 now. And he'll ground out to Nettles to throw over to Chambliss for out number three. So once again, the Red Sox put up a goose egg and 7 0 Yankees after three full. The Yankees will send Munson, Jackson, and Chambliss up against Drago. Munson grounded out in the first for an RBI and struck out in the second. And he'll strike out swing. So a good start to the inning for the Red Sox. Brings up Jerry, uh, yeah, Reggie Jackson. He took offense to being hit by a pitch and promptly hit the next pitch out of the park in the second inning for a two-run homer. It's going to be off of Drago's five column. And Drago will get him swing for out number two. Brings up Chambliss, who went back to back with Jackson in the third and the second. Chambliss is two for two with a two runs batted in, double and a homer. And he'll add another double to that as this one gets over Lynn's head, goes off the wall. Two out double for Chambliss. He's now three for three. Nettles up now. He's 0 for 1 with a walk. And he'll lace a single as the Yankees are getting a lot of low split rolls. He a lot of ones. So I put runners at the corners for Thomason. He's 0 for 1. I mean, uh, 1 for 1 with an RBI. Had a bases loaded walk in the first. And he'll strike out Thomason looking. So no further damage. So scoring means 7 0 Yankees. Stremski will lead it off for the Red Sox here in the fourth. Struck out his first time up. And he's going to lace a double into right center field. So good start for the Red Sox here in the fourth. So that brings up Fisk, who grounded out his first time up. And he'll draw a walk. So runners on first and second with nobody out for Fred Lynn. Lynn looking to get off of the two, either the two column or the four column. And it's going to be a wild pitch. So runners are now, both runners are now in scoring position as they move up. And not the column we want to be on for Gullet, the sixth column. Big ground ball to Nettles at third. He's an excellent range. He's a one range. Commits very few errors, so that wish we had him at third base rather than Hobson. He'll go over to first as the comes home to score, and the Red Sox are on the board. 7-1 now. On 
ground out by Fred Lint. So he'll get an RBI in the play. That'll bring up George Scott with a runner on third and one down. He walked his first time up. And he's going to hit a ground ball to Chicken Stanley here. Chambliss. So the Red Sox score another run and another ground out. And it's now 7-2. So we got some scores around the league now. Baltimore ahead of Milwaukee, 3-0. Gregor pitching for Baltimore. Toronto slipping by Detroit, 2-0. Chicago on top of Seattle, 3-1. Cleveland edging Kansas City, 4-3. Minnesota on top of California, 2-0. And Texas, the lead over Oakland, 3 0. Yeah, so that'll bring up Dwight Evans up now with two outs and nobody on. Two runs already in in the inning. And he'll get a good pitch to hit here. And he'll line a single past Stanley. That brings up Butch Hobson, who struck out his first time up. The arranged play on Munson. Gonna be a pop out. And Monson will make the play. And that'll do it for the Red Sox, but they do score two, and after four full, it's seven two. Drago looking for another shutdown inning here. Give a chance for the Red Sox to catch up. Now down by five. Spencer is off one with an RBI, also reached on an error. Ooh, but he'll get a good pitch to hit here. And he will not miss it as he's going to hit one over Evans' head into the right field bleachers. And the Yankees get a run back, and it's 8 2. Stanley up now, 1 for 2. No ground on the Drago. He's a 3 range. Oh, Drago's going to commit an error. Third Red Sox error, so the Red Sox are killing themselves here. Third error on the day already. As the Fenway faithful boo Drago. That brings up Roy Wally. He's two for three on the day. And he'll reach base for the third time. So the first two runners on for the Yankees. Randolph, he's 0 for 3, but has scored two runs. Reached once on the error by Hobson, he came around the score, and reached on a fielder's choice, and also came around the score. And he's going to line to Burleson for out number one. So that brings up Munson, 0 for 3 with an RBI. And he'll strike out for the third time. So two down now in the Yankee fifth, one run already home. Brings up the dangerous Reggie Jackson, one for two with a homer. And he'll line out to Remy. And that'll do it for the Yankees in the fifth. They do score one and lead by six going halfway through. Top of the order, Burleson leads it off. 0 for two on the day. And he'll strike out looking for out number one. Here's up Jerry Remy. He's two for two with a couple of singles. Normally not good against lefties, but has done well today. And I don't think he's going to be three for three. Although it is a range check on Thomas, and he was a poor range, so he's got a 55% chance to get on. One to 11 will be a base hit. <laughs> not get that. Thomason will come in and awkwardly make the catch, but make the catch nonetheless for out number two. So two quick outs in the Red Sox inning for Jim Rice. It's one for two with a single. 
And he'll round out to Randa for out number three. So the Red Sox go in order in the fifth. And it remains New York eight and Boston two. So Dre go back out there for a ooh, six pitches. Well, see if we can squeeze another inning. He did pitch four innings in the actual game. He's pitched three innings so far here. We'll see what we can get out of him here. And he'll ground up. Chambliss will ground out to Remy. He had been three for three with a couple of doubles and a homer, but they retire Chambliss for the first time today for out number one. Brings up Greg Nettles, one for two. And he's going to get a good on the hit here. And lays off of it. And he walks for the second time. Thompson now. One for two with an RBI. And he'll line a single to right. This metal holds at second. So once again, the Yankees threatening. Jim Spencer up now. Red Sox looking to get the double play here. And they do not as he singles to right. So that's going to load the bases with one out. And that'll be it for Drago. And Zimmer comes to the mound to take him out. We bring in this lovely bullpen. So we bring in Stanley. He's only at 85%, so we'll let Stanley absorb some innings here. Stanley comes in with a 1 and 2 record, 11 saves, 3.67 ERA, 49 innings pitched, 58 hits, 13 walks, and 16 strikeouts, and has Surrendered two home runs. So he'll face Stanley, who's one for three on the day. Red Sox playing the corners in. And that could be two. So Hobson throws over Remy for one, back to first, double play. So 5 2 3 on the double play. Oh, actually, they went home to first, sorry. Home to first, double play. So corners are playing in. So the Yankees do not score in the sixth, despite loading the bases. So to bring up Kyle Yastrzemski, he's one for two on the day with a double. And he'll line a single the second hit of the day. So the leadoff runner on for the Red Sox. Red Sox hoping to make a dent in the lead here. Ooh, this will get a good pitch to hit today. I mean, uh, on this at bat, sorry. So that'll be a base hit, and we're going to hold the runner at second. Down by six. So first two runners on for the Red Sox against Gullet. Ooh, and that's the call we want to be on for Lynn. Let's we'll see what happens. And he'll draw a walk to load the bases. As Munson goes out to talk to Gullet, trying to settle him down. So the bases load with nobody out. So an excellent opportunity for the Red Sox to get back into this game. Scott is 0 for 1 with an RBI. And that's going to be it for Gullet. So Dick Tidro will come in for his first appearance in the series. Tidro comes in with a 5 and 2 record. 3.33 ERA, 76 innings pitch, 71 hits allowed, 26 walks, and 24 strikeouts. And has surrendered 6 long balls. So let's see what Scott can do against Tidro. He'll get a good one to hit here. Ah, but it's the wrong spot as he's going to ground a second. Can they turn to, I mean, ground a third? Over to second horn, back to first, double play. Run does come home, though. So it's 8-3 now. No RBI on the play. Fist moves to third, so run on third with two down for Evans. And it's going to be a wild pitch. And Fisk will come in. So the fourth Red Sox run. So the Red Sox have have the lead now. 8-4 to four Yankees lead now. Evans 1-2 for two on the day. And he'll extend the inning with a walk. So that'll bring up Butch Hobson 0-2 on the day. And 
he's going to go in a ground ball of the second. It's going to be a range play on Randolph, who should make the play. And he will over to Chambliss, and that'll do it for the Red Sox. The Red Sox get two runs. And trail at 8-4 to four now. Roy White's up now. He's two for three of the double. And he'll draw a walk from Stanley, his second walk of the day. So lead up runner on to the Yankees here in the seventh. Okay, Randolph hitless on the day. Has scored two runs though. And he'll get us hit here on his fifth at bat. Runners on first and second, and nobody else. The Yankees once again threatening. Munson up now. He grounded out and had an RBI single in the. I mean, uh, grounded out, got an RBI in the first, and struck out his next three times up. So, Let's see what he can do here. Stanley. And he'll hit a fly ball to center. And Wen should make the catch here. And he does. As White holds it second. One out now. As you can see the scores there. Check them out. And Milwaukee continues to lose, so that would be good for us. So that brings up Reggie Jackson. One for three with a homer. And he'll find that single lick there. So that will once again load the bases for the Yankees. Oh, stay. Again, the Red Sox bullpen proving its worth here. And that's going to be a fly ball to center. And it should make the catch. We'll see if it's deep enough to get White home. Looks like it might be deep enough. And yep, it'll score easily. So 9 4 now, Yankee lead. Brings up Nettles. Ooh, he's one for two of a couple blocks. And he grounds out to Remy. That could have been even more disastrous. The Red Sox get out of it with just one run scored. And they now trail by five as we head to the seventh inning stretch. So let's see what Mr. Brody's trivia question is for the day. How are the New York Mets nicknamed? Well, they were named after the city, right? Metropolitans. So that's my guess. If you have another guess, or if you agree, lock in your answer now. We'll see what happens. Short for Metropolitans, a revival of the name born by an American Association New York franchise in the 1880s. You get it half right there. We knew what it was, but we didn't know where it came from. So thank you, Mr. Brody, for that trivia question there. Let's get back to the action. Red Sox down by five. Tidro back on the hill for the Yankees. Wilson 0 for 3 on the day. It's going to be a range check by Stanley. And he'll get this one. Throws to first, and he's out by a step. So, Grossman's now 0 for 4 in the day. Jerry Remyup now singled his first two times up. Flew out his last time up. And this time, we get range check by Munson. And this could be a wild pitch here, but there's nobody on base, so it shall not make a difference. It is. Fields it in fair play, the grounder, and is able to retire Remy for out number two. So we have Jim Rice, one for three. And he's going to get a hold of one here. This one's going to go into the triangle, bounce around a little bit. Thompson's having some difficulty with it. And Rice will end up at third with a two-out triple. 
believe Jim Rice had 15 triples on the actual season. I'm not sure how many he's actually hit this season, but as that 1 to 12 split there is pretty good possibility when he rolls that that he's going to get it over a 50% chance, 60% chance there actually. So Kyle Yastrzemski up now. Struck out in the first, doubled in the fourth, and singled in the sixth. And he's going to get a hold of one here just off the end of the bat, though, as Jackson is there, and he'll make the catch at the fence. So it's just not quite enough for Yastrzemski. So the Red Sox can trail by five going into the eighth. Robinson up now two for three with an RBI. Stanley back out there for another New York. And he'll strike out for out number one. Stanley's first K of the day. Brings up Jim Spencer. Two for three with a homer. And a couple of runs batted in. And he'll get his third hit of the day as he doubles to right center field. cannot afford to get behind by any more this late in the game. It's Stanley now, he'll line out. One for five now. Brings up Roy White to through the double. And he'll pop up the sky. He'll make the catch and that'll do it for the Yankees in the eighth. So Red Sox down to the last six out here, down by five. Colin Fisk leads it off. One for two with a couple of runs scored. And he'll get his second hit of the day. So a good start for the Red Sox here in the eighth. Brings up Fred Lynn. Two for two with an RBI. And he'll find that single off the three column. As we hold Fisk gets second. First two runners on for the Red Sox. But George Scott. Do we pinch hit for him? I think we're gonna possibly pinch hit for him. We can move your Stremski around if we need to. Yeah, let's do that. It's gonna be. Oh, that's right. And uh, Birdie Cabo is officially off the team, so he must get traded to Cleveland. And we have we have a new guy here, Sam Bohm, and he's awful. <laughs> So I think we might leave Scott in. Yeah. Check out the Yeah, not much better there. So let's uh let's leave Scott in. Here we go. Get me off the five column with Tidro. And that'll be a fly ball to left field. So White is under it and makes the catch for the first start of the inning. White Evans now, one for two, the walk. Just hold on here. And it's going to be a wild pitch. The runners will move up. So second and third now with one out. And it's going to be a range check on Stanley. Front of it. Throw it at first for out number two. As Fist comes home. So 9 5 now. Brings up Butch Hobson, hitless on the day, 0 for 3. Let's so need a big hit out of Hobson here. And they won't get it as he lines up to Nettles at third. Red Sox scratch away another run. It's now 9-5. Stanley back out there again. Randolph will fly out to Evans for out number one. So one up and one gone. But Munson 0 for 5 with an RBI. He'll make that 0 for 6 as he pops out for Burleson. So 
This is looking like it's going to be more like the actual score of 10 for Yankees instead of a turnaround the other way. But it's not over yet, so we'll see. Jackson up now, and range check on Remy. Jackson's got a two for four on the day, including a two run homer in the second. And Remy will make the play over to Scott, and that'll be it, do it for the Yankees in the ninth. All right, so the Red Sox down their last three outs. Tidjo on to finish it out. Brings up Burleson, 0 for 4 on the day. And he'll fly out to left for out number one. And we have Jerry Remy. He's got a couple hits on the day, 2 for 4. And he'll get a double. That one's hit a long way. So over the fence for a ground rule double. Jim Rice up now. Tripled his last time up. Two for four on the day. And he'll waste a single pass Nettles into left field. As Remy's gonna come around the score. It's a 9-6 game now. So the tying run is on deck. Strzemski looking to get on here. And that'll be it for Tidro as Gossage is going to come in. There's now, now a save situation for Gossage. So Rich Gossage, the Hall of Famer, comes in. 2-3 and three record, 9 saves, 2.22 ERA. 53 innings pitch, 28 hits. 27 walks and 47 Ks. And he surrendered 4 home runs. See what Yastrzemski can do. Two for four on the day. It's going to be a range check on Chambliss, who's a three range. First time we've called his number today. And he'll get in front of it. He's not commit many errors. Let's see. Throws a second for one, back to first, and it's a double play to end the game. Yastrzemski hits into a 3 6 3 double play. And the Yankees hold on to win 9-6 as the Yankees take the first two games of the series. Ouch. Mr. Brody is not happy with that. Alright, so let's check out our box score here. So Don Gullo gets the win. He's 2-1, 5 innings pitch, 7 hits allowed. 4 runs, all of them earned. 3 walks and 3 strikeouts. Tidro gets, his, gets a hold. Three and two thirds inning, so two run ball, five hits allowed. Rich Gossage gets his tenth save of the season. Two thirds of an inning. Torres with the loss, his first loss of the season. As Torres allows seven runs, five of them earned, it's two, only lasted two innings. Seven hits allowed, one walk and surrendered, and uh, sorry, two walks and one home, one strikeout. Surrendered two home runs. Yeah, right now up to 3.13. Drago, Drago and Stanley both pitched fairly well out of the bullpen. Well, only one run each. Keeping the game within reach of the Red Sox anyway. Uh, for the Yankees, Roy White was 2 for 4 with a couple of runs scored. Willie Randolph 1 for 6, but with a couple of runs scored. Munson was 0 for 6 with an RBI. Jackson 2 for 5, hit a 2 run home run. 2 runs bad in, 2 runs scored. Chambliss 3 for 4 with 2 runs in, 2 runs scored, and 3 RBIs. And Jim Spencer was 3 for 4 with a run scored and 2 RBIs. For the Red Sox, Jerry Remy was 3 for 5 with a run scored. Bryce was 3 for 5 with an RBI. Strebsky 2 for 5 with a couple of runs scored. Fisk 2 for 3 with a couple of three runs scored. And those are the highlights for the Red Sox. The Red Sox fall in game two, so they're looking to salvage a series. I mean, salvage a game in the series. And 
the Yankees definitely have already won the series. And the Red Sox lose by 9-6 score. The actual score, as you said earlier, was 10 for the Yankees. So let's check out the league stats here, the standings. So with the loss, the Red Sox and Milwaukee lost too, though. Milwaukee lost, so they're still a game behind. The Yankees have crept another game closer, so they're just five games out now. And Kansas City is, I mean, is just got a half game lead on California now. And Texas is just one and a half behind, so a tight race in the West. Three teams, it's like a, pretty much a three team race right now. Minnesota is six and a half back. All right, let's check out tomorrow's game here, the final game of the series. And it's going to be Jim Beatty, the Yankees, going up against Dennis Eckersley. So hopefully Dennis Eckersley can get his 10th win of the season and salvage a game for the Red Sox. Let's check out the actual score of the game. Red Sox actually did prevail on that one, 9-2, so we'll see. Hopefully, they can win. Sorry, right, so thank you for joining me. It's been Eric and my co-host, Mr. Brody, from Higher Ground Gaming. If you like these videos, like and subscribe, and um, help support the channel. Uh, also, check out some other channels that we have. Al Red Sox Fan does some great videos on his. Does a lot of sports replays on his channel. Um, as well as hopefully Ron Juckett will get back into the... I think his retro sports network um, now that the national season is done hopefully we'll get back into the swing of things soon um, that would be nice um, tabletop baseball um, stratomatic delaware espo strat um, all, all kinds of good networks there um, just check out my subscribers if you'd like to see more sports related especially baseball related videos um, as well as some other uh, you know role-playing game videos um, so yeah, so I'm looking to get a, uh, a game too called Grimoire, which is a throwback to the 90s um, role-playing, CRPG role-playing video games where you create a party of adventurers. Um, so I've been watching a lot of videos on that. Hope to pick up that in the near future and uh, hopefully start a series of that. I'm not sure if I'm going to start do a series of that on this channel or I may use my other, uh, my other, uh, YouTube account to do that with um, to do maybe do games um, other than sports related stuff on that channel since this seems to be turning into most um, almost all sports related stuff so so all right so thank you for joining us and we will see you in the next 1978 Red Sox replay and also too when we hit the all-star breaker um, hopefully we can uh, do with something with Al Red Sox fan because he's doing a 1978 replay using on Digital Diamond Base, where we can compare our stats and uh, do a little YouTube hangout or something. So thank you for joining me. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye now.